everyone, welcome back to another video. It is me, Iggy Ignatius, and we are here today talking about the new chapter four of Poppy Playtime. I want to go over everything that we know, and I want to see what is up with chapter four. I have never played a single Poppy Playtime, chapter one, two, or three. So like this video and comment down below if you want me to play it. And let's look at what Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 is. We're going to look at all the characters. We're going to do everything. We're going to do a whole analysis of Chapter 4. If you are here, new, subscribe, because we're trying to get to 10K by the end of the year. I'm trying my best to be a YouTuber. Let's get into the posts by Mob Entertainment. So, we have all of the new characters. We're gonna go through all of these characters first. We got Baba Chops, the black sheep of the bunch. Baba prefers to keep her space, like a lot of space. Too much space. She can be distant, quiet, low energy, and it usually requires a lot of coaxing into getting her out of the house. Luckily for her, she has some very persistent friends. She usually perks up after a while, but the next day, we're right back to the same tune. And the scent is anise. I do not know what anise is. Oh, okay, it's like a plant. Ooh, I have some of those in my area. Okay, has the scent of anise. Okay, a nightmare critter. So in the next one, there's gonna be nightmare critters. Okay, I don't know when this is gonna come out though. I'm looking forward to it though. The second tune we got is Icky Licky. Icky's the type of kid to fall behind in a relay race and immediately pin it on the sore knee. A sore loser, okay. Even when that's not the case. He's the very definition of a poor sport. Even though he's naturally talented, he constantly challenges everyone on everything and usually without an out the outcome he expects. Don't worry, he has an excuse ready. And he has the scent of coffee. So this is like a reptile with a poison. Looks like a radiation sticker. Looks like they have little toxic, they're like nightmare critters. Okay, on to the third one. We have Raby Baby. Raby Baby couldn't keep a secret if her life depended on it. If there's one thing in the world she loves, it's gossiping. And she's very practiced at it. She has no concept of privacy and boundaries, and if she's in the room, she can you can bet she eavesdrops eavesdropping on someone. Don't worry, if she ever runs out of juicy secrets to tell about, she'll just make up some. Mmm. So don't trust Raby Baby with the scent of bubblegum. So it's a little bat figure. Okay. Okay, I see you, I see you. Alistair Gator. Or Alistair Gator. What's the difference? I don't really know. Alistair's an all-around lazy guy. He's chill, sure, but if he could, he'd spend all day in the water doing pretty much nothing. He isn't a fan of the whole put in effort and see that effort rewarded it. Ooh, I guess we can kind of, I kind of understand it, but I'm gonna be real. He's much more a believer in the philosophy. Good things have to come to me eventually. I just need to wait around for it. He's still waiting. Smells like sandalwood. I don't think, I don't like, okay. I thought it was a cool, cause I mean, you know, lazing about, but that's not a good mindset. It'll come, good things will come to you eventually. You have to put in the work. What do you mean? No, 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 not Alistair. No! Ooh, Simon Smoke. Simon Smoke knows he's cool and popular, and he makes sure nobody ever forgets it. Whether showing off for friends or just bragging about the, one of his accomplishments, it's always a popularity contest with him. Almost always he wins. In truth, he's a colossal jerk, but he does have a knack for getting away with being one. Mmm, so he just has that. He has that mo mentality where he's just cooler than everyone else and people just see him as the cool guy. Uh, kind of scumbaggy. I don't like scumbags, honestly. But he has the scent of smoke wood. W wood smoke. Kind of cool seeing a dragon, though, as a little nightmare critter. Okay, on to the third to last one. We got Poe. Poe hates the sun and thinks the cool trick on nature that the world needs it in the first place. Most comfortable in the dark. They spend their nights hanging around graveyards, listening to music, and 
feeling vaguely angry at nothing in particular. They insist it isn't a phase, and their scent is cinnamon, so this is just a moody teenager. A rebel. Okay. So this person is more just in a, you know, they're in a goth phase, basically. They're just angry at the world. So it looks like these nightmare critters are just moody teenagers. That's kind of, that's kind of cool, honestly. Totil, how do you even say, how do you even say that? Totil, how the heck do you say this? Oh, two E. It's, <laughs> thank you for the, ob I should have read. Bro, it's right there in front of me, two E is a self-proclaimed trash rodent. When he's not busy eating or collecting garbage, he is li lively conservationist. He talks a lot, but is made all made all the sure more surprising by him having shockingly eased nothing to say. If you ever need something to provide insightful commentary or some random piece of junk, Tui is your guy. And the smell is petrichor Ooh, that's kind of cool and our final tune of the nightmare critters is maggie mako maggie is always thinking about her belly she's happier with food in her mouth and believe us she's not picky she loves sweets and veggies yuck don't be surprised if she takes your <laughs> health eating habits advice with a dabble of sugar some maple syrup whipped cream and a big cherry on top, all while laughing at you profusely. And the smell is chocolate. Okay, that was all of the different tunes. And let's actually see what this chapter is about. We have the teaser, we have the Poppy Playtime chapter four teaser that I wanted to actually get into and see what it's about. Because honestly, all of these looking, these tunes look really cool. We got, okay, let's get into Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 Teaser Trailer Ooh, Is that the dog from Chapter 3? I still need to play it Like this video if you want me to play the first three chapters of Poppy Playtime Cause I think I'm gonna do it This is this month I'm gonna be getting into Poppy Playtime Cause this, this always has intrigued me I just never got around to it Ooh. What does that dog do? What the heck is that? Is that the sheep? Oh! What the heck is... What the heck is that? What the heck? Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 in January of 2025? Okay! Okay! It's coming out soon! We only got two months or three months away from it. I'm okay with playing that then. That sounds cool. There is no more trailers. Okay. There is an ARG it looks like. Okay, what is this? We have some ARG stuff that is from the wiki. Honestly, I wanted to see what was in the wiki. I do not know what the, the ARG is about. Please let me know what the ARG is about because I'm actually interested to see what they have cooking up. I'm not real great at the ARGs and most media. So I usually just watch other people do it. So just let me know in the comments down below. I'm more interested in the fact that this game is coming out soon. It's coming in January. I'm going to be one of the first people to play it. I got to get chapters one, two, and three done. And then we can go and play chapter four. Oh, I'm so looking forward to that. I have a, one thing I want to say. For this video, go check out my homie, Techno Meteor. He made a video on chapter three. It's his third part. I think you could go try it, check it out. He is really funny. I wanted to support the homie. So go support him. And I will see you in the next video. Most likely playing Puppy Playtime Chapter 1 for the first time ever. I hope you have a blessed day. Stay safe. I will see you later. Peace.